Kule Remy is quite chaotic. This exchange between him and James Gardner is very funny. Yes, the Ghanaian actor James Gardner. I don't know if he lives in Nigeria. The number you dialed is switched off. I shall be see your man doing TikTok video. I shall be that's your man doing TikTok video. Let's see, see, see your ginger. <laughs> and he said that to Ashwabi. <laughs> wow. Wow. I see my guys doing TikTok. He's going to dance them. Chan, chan, chan. Chan, 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 chan. James Gardner. James! James! We see you, bro! <laughs> Where do you go? Oh. You like it? Let's take it. I'll just put it here for you. Officially, the name is Zainab, not Anaya anymore, so I can take Agaya. Mm. Yes, okay. I can. Okay, so your guest is inside, Madam Zainab. You can please go and have it. <laughs> you can please go and take it. your guest now, ma'am. And I am in spa. Give her, yes, yes, yes. yes. And I am in spa. And I am in spa. And I am in spa. You should have a pedicure for her. Hey, let's go then. So like I wrote earlier, Kule Remy is on daddy duties today. I don't know whose child this is, but he took her alongside himself to spa. So far so good. I think he will be an amazing one. Hey, 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 hey. So read how well he played his role as daddy to Anaya, the little girl in the video. The number you dialed is switched. If you go to the when you go to the filling station, the attendant will ask you, sir, anything for your boy. If you go to uh, what you call it now, if you get somewhere you want to park, sign anything for your boy. If you go to, if I come to any, go to anybody's estate and you want to drive in and they open the gate for you, even if you give them gate code, uh, sign anything for your boy. Everybody, anything for your boy. The question now is, how many boys do I have that I don't know of? Because I don't know how many boys I have at this point. Sign anything for your boy. Sign anything for your boy. Anything for your boy. You pack somebody, just pack, hey, uh, pack yes, sir. Anything for your boy. Oh, good afternoon. How are you? You do it. Anything for your boy. Everybody, anything for your boy. Ah. Uh, anything for your boy. Anything for your boy. Okay. How far? I did. I pack here. Where do you go, go, go. Upstairs. How far? Ah. Anything for your boy. This one, 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 this that's it now for India, said. Anything for your boy. So she was going out every morning now. She'll be holding money. So I'm going to see six boys. Um, boy. Uh, where did you have one? Where is this guy's house? I enter here for house. If I say, hey, Baba, we anything for your boys. <laughs> Everybody today, anything for your boys. Hey, because I hold you by and they do things. He said anything. See, I'm. Even if you have to say anything for your boy. 
Because you see, but see, they chill, they relax. They actually. But that's the thing that my senior. As you don't buy, you don't buy senior. Bye, 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 <laughs> bye. Um, well, guys, be very careful of the kind of friends that you roll with. It's very important. This is true words from the man with so much wisdom. Because how would you go to your friend's house? Wine. This monkey did not even say, ah, Baba, you don't chop. You go chop. You want to eat something. You go chop. It's your, it's a craze. If they give me wine, <laughs> energy drink. Wine and energy drink. Very key to keep you the head guy. To keep you alive. But you know those are the hungry. Oh. Where's not... a good job? Where's a good job? Where's a good job? I'll, talk, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> These kids just came back from school. Yay! But this is the best part of it. That's their caretaker or their nanny. Where is she? Can you see her hand? She's holding plantain. Ah! I'm over here. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about it. When you go over and you buy the plantain, you're about to fry. Where are you now? See the plantain. Yay! That this guy video don't make a fuss about it. Because hmm, you get a CBO making video of people in their personal space. I don't think it's right. Well, moving on, guys. Talking about Ifa and the point he raised earlier in this vlog about uh, the way security men beg. <laughs> guys, have you met my security men? Those ones, you can give them money in the morning. In the afternoon they will beg you if they see you again in the night anything for your boy like it annoys me so much but maybe because i have like a little money to spare most times i just tend to like give them when they ask like sometimes they will tax me tax my sister like and well sometimes i just let them be because i don't tell my sister oh i've given them 3k each and she still tips them so i don't even bother because i just feel like well she has the money let her give them but i feel like people who withhold services people who wouldn't render services to you because of tips those ones are the most annoying and to be very honest the moment i notice you're that kind of person you will not get shishi from me like i will so sell my paws so this i think and another thing is that a lot of menial workers are on the page so that's why sometimes to be very honest even out of my own free will whenever i go to the bank most times i tip security men like one one k i give them money yes whenever i go to the bank I don't ever go to the bank without tipping security men except of course they are annoying i tip every single security man at any bank i visit because most times to be very honest like i said people are underpaid for example if you talk about security men sometimes the bank their official salary should be 30 or 40 thousand the bank pulls like the, the the agency recruiting them pulls like 10k and gives them 30 at the end of the day they are struggling the money is not enough for them so me out of my own free will that's why i make very conscious effort to tip security men at the supermarket and in the bank not like i have so much money but I just feel like it's something i can afford to do so i do it but i just naturally get upset when these people become so entitled like to the point where oh madam give us something and probably they don't want to open the gates for you then i am going to be upset because i don't i am not a fan of entitled people and one hill i am ready to buy on is the fact that if a job is not paying you well feel feel free to resign that's one of the tenants i live by i'm the kind of person that when i'm doing a job and i feel like oh the money i'm being paid is no longer enough to pay my bills trust me i resign even when i don't know where the next job is coming from i will quit because boy i cannot afford to rob peter to people and i am one person who doesn't know how to beg like i don't know how to beg people for tips for money especially when i'm working i do my job if you give me fine if you don't give me fine so that's why when i'm 
picking up a job i don't say oh let's talk about people can dash you money i don't put that in the plan no, because you, i will not force them i will not try to cajole them if they give me willingly fine if they don't fine and funny enough people hardly give willingly you have to like try and you know act like you're begging them before they even give you so for me that's not in the plan so if i'm looking for a job how much are you going to pay me don't start telling me hey this job eh you will meet people that will dash you money mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. i don't want to live like that that's not how i roll so generally that's why most times when i see foil attendants people that are just begging for tips for me it's more of sympathy and when i have money to be very honest i give them that's why i always have like notes 200 500 in my purse deliberately for such people so tell me what are your thoughts on this idea people billing you up and down is this something you're comfortable with or are you like me that believe that if you can't stand the heat in the kitchen leave the kitchen if you feel that the money you're being paid is not enough to sustain you quit what are your thoughts i would like to know in the comment section